Howdy folks, how's it going? So I'm here uh, in a restaurant in Aguas Calientes, uh, Peru, which is the town that is the closest to Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu is only um, about a 20 minute bus ride from here or a uh, two mile hike, a very intense two mile hike that I did uh, yesterday when I went to Machu Picchu. Um, and so I'm hanging out here for a couple more days uh, before I leave. So I found this uh, nice little restaurant here. As you can see, nobody else here at the moment, which is great for recording a video so that I'm not bothering anyone. Um, so I'm having the uh, menu of the day uh, this evening, which is a common uh, possibility in um, various places around Peru and South America in general. In Colombia, they had the same uh, option. And so they give you uh, different choices depending on the place. Sometimes it is uh, just they give you what they're serving um, and then sometimes there's different choices that you can uh, choose from. And so first of all I had one of the Cusqueña beers here and I will just uh, mention here that the um, Cusqueña regular or I think it's called golden um, is very uh, boring, plain. It is just like a Miller Lite or a Coors or whatever just your you know standard beer, um, which is really not to my liking. However, this uh, Negra, the the dark lager, is really good, and so I recommend the Cusqueña Negra when you're in Peru. That is the uh, you know like main Peruvian beer. So, I ordered a uh, soup uh, that is Creole soup, and I wasn't really sure what it was, but she said that it had egg in it, and so I was just like, well, I'll give it a try to see what uh, what it's like, and. Looks really tasty and definitely very uh, filling. And then I went with the uh, alpaca. And so here we have the alpaca and the uh, rice, french fries, and then some vegetables on the side there. And so the uh, menu of the day here is 15 souls, which is five US dollars. It also um, could have included a drink or a dessert, uh, but I didn't really need a drink. I already had the beer going and I didn't really want a dessert because uh, all they had was chocolate and that'll keep me from sleeping at night. So um, I just went with the soup and the dinner. So $5 for um, a uh, you know combination meal. And so I'm trying the alpaca, which I've actually had uh, before in Peru. Um, and uh, so there it is. And it is similar to a beef steak kind of, but definitely different. Uh, it's varied a fair amount from one place to the next. Um, the first time that I tried it, it was very tough and chewy, um, and then other times it's been a bit better, so we'll see on this one. We've got a good looking meal here for five bucks. You can enjoy it. All right, so here we go. The alpaca, uh, fries, rice, and uh, some veggies there some ketchup and a little mayonnaise to put on the rice. All right, here we go. And the mayonnaise here is kind of spice, so it has a little bit of taste to it. Here we go. This one especially definitely has a distinctive taste to it. Almost a little bit kind of like goat, maybe. Not that I've had a lot of goat, but uh, I think I've maybe had it once, but it has kind of that little more of kind of a musty flavor to it. Like you can kind of more of smell the animal or something. Um, definitely different from um, beef or certainly pork. Always hard to describe the flavor of something. But when in Peru, give it a try.